from Annapolis, Maryland, small city in Maryland, uh, it's actually the capital. Not that many people know about it, like when I go out of state and stuff for tournaments, not that many people know. It's like 20, 30 minutes outside of Baltimore, Maryland. I'm real proud to be from there, you know, we got, we got a lot of talent around the city. Some people don't make it out, you know, it's different routes you could take in life. People get caught up in the other route, I'm just trying, you know, stay on track, going in the right direction. You know, as a kid, I was just a, just a normal, everyday kid. I'll go outside with my friends, stuff like that. As a kid, I played all sports. I didn't just play basketball, you know, we played football, kickball, everything, soccer, you know, whatever we could do. Go to the playground, you know, we just doing regular kid stuff. I would never go outside, though my mom would always told me, like, do my homework and stuff. She started that at a young age, so I was just, that's pretty much all, just, just playing, having fun. I played everything, like, it, it kind of running my family blood, too. Like, uh, my dad, he played Division One basketball. My mom played, my mom played, like, everything. And, uh, it just go down the line. My uncles and stuff, every athlete, too. I got started, like I said, my dad, uh, he first introduced me to the game. He, um, he played Division One, so uh, he first, like, he, he installed, instilled it in me, for real. And uh, my mom played too, but he, like, he uh, had AAU teams and stuff like that. So when I was young, like me and my friends, all of us, he put us uh, all on a team. We was playing together. Then we started, we was playing up and stuff like that. We was playing two age groups up. Mm -hmm. So he first introduced me to it. He said, train me and stuff when I was young. I realized basketball was my favorite sport it was like uh like when I got to middle school, it was just like all I wanted to do really because before middle school, you know, like I said, I was playing football, I played lacrosse, I was doing it all, but in middle school it was like when I first started like actually falling in love with it, I used to like work on it all the time. Like I started to find myself with my friends playing football. I had the basketball court in the backyard, so I used to go in the, I used to be in the backyard just practicing, shooting, stuff like that. Watching YouTube videos, just I just started falling in love with it. Best teams around the area, or nothing like that. I was always on like a local team, but I just, you know, I had love for the game. I played hard. I had heart, and I just uh, always wanted to work on my game. So that's what I did. Like I said, starting in middle school, I started uh, working out, taking it serious, and I got in like seven, six, seventh grade.
probably go back 11 or 12 years now and it all started through like a known fundamental camp in Annapolis. A uh, little fundamentals first thing <laughs> around Mills Parole for real. That's like right up the street from him but that's where it all started and then it carried through as we grew up to either competing against each other or playing with each other. I committed to the United States Naval Academy. I was gonna make an impact. I had thoughts about wanting to go out of state. Joining the military was definitely a tough piece on the commitment part, but I just had to think to myself the long term after all this is over with. Definitely close off the basketball court. It was probably a time, maybe like a year and a half ago, where we didn't see each other as much. But over that year and a half, we uh, definitely became closer than what we have in the past few years. I was good. Well, I always knew I was good throughout like middle school. Um, we was playing like in the county and stuff on school teams and stuff. But I realized I was real good. Like when I got to high school, um, people know about me like around my area and stuff around my city. But uh, once I started playing like a good good competition, like Division One competition, I realized you know I was holding my own against them. And I was still young because in high school, when I got to high school, I was still only fourteen. I was a freshman on varsity, sophomore on varsity, so. I was just playing up, and uh, my sophomore year, I had a couple of good standout games against uh, some, some real good competition, some of the best teams in the state. And uh, right after that, I, I started knowing I was good. And that uh, summer, playing AU basketball, I started getting uh, phone calls and stuff from college coaches.
got into high school, like, um, we, we don't really have any AAU teams down here, so I played up in, uh, I went up to D.C. I played with the D.C. Blue Devils in the summer. They really helped develop my game, uh, put me on the national stage. So. so, like I said, I started getting phone calls from uh, Division One schools my sophomore year. My sophomore year, summer, going into junior year. And uh, junior year, I knew it was going to be a big year for me, so yeah, I just kept working, just kept pushing myself. And um, after, like, the first couple of games, I started out real, real good. And uh, I received a scholarship off the offer in, uh, what was it, November of my junior year. I received a scholarship offer. And um, that whole season, like, I picked up, I kept getting calls. Like, I was getting calls. But I didn't receive my, my second one until April, like, right before AAU season started. And then uh, after that, I pretty much had a breakout, breakout summer. So this was last summer. Uh, like I said, I played with D.C. Blue Devils. And uh, it was my first time really playing on the national stage and uh, the unknown circuit. And after that, I really... I had to, like the first session. We had a session in New York. I played real good. You know, it was, it was the uh, the first time a lot of coaches actually got out seeing me play. And um, right after that, my recruitment picked up. It was a good experience. I was playing with some of the best players in the country. You know, five five star, four star recruits. It was a good experience. Another chance for me to uh, put my name out there, and I had a good showing. Picked up some more offers while I was out there too, so it was, it was real good. I, I was watching it. I was well, not watching it, but keeping track of it. You know, like years, and years before that, a lot of top players played in that. So it's coming into the summer, when I knew I was about to play on the unarmed circuit. That was that was a big goal for me. First of all, I felt like you know all the hard work is paying off. Like I've been waiting for that since, like once I started taking basketball serious. So once I started getting them, my my confidence definitely went up. I started feeling like uh, I was always the best player on the court. Like nobody could stop me really, and it just made me want wanted to work uh, even harder. Just I just kept going, kept going, pu pushing it to my limits really. In October, I committed to uh, William and Mary. It was one of the first schools that uh, really reached out to me, and um, I went on an unofficial visit there, and I took my official visit back in the fall. And um, you know, I, I liked it a lot. I liked the uh, the plan that the coaching staff had for me for my four years and like uh, get on campus and uh, the opportunities that they provided. Not only with basketball, but uh, with the academics as well, going into the real world and a good degree afterwards.